My name is Tal Ran Zhang from the University of Washington. Hi, I'm here to pick up a prescription. Hey there, and who are you picking up for today? For my son, Michael. Okay, and what is his date of birth? His date of birth is August 1st, 2004. Okay, we do have one medication for him. I do wanna quickly go over his profile really quick just to make sure everything's up to date. Uh, what allergies to medications does he have, if anything? None. None, okay. And looks like this is the only medication on his profile. What other medications does he take, including over-the-counter medications and vitamins? Nothing. Yep. All right, and looks like uh, we only have ADHD as a medical condition. What long-term conditions does he have, if anything? Just that. Okay, just that. Mm -hmm. So everything is up to date now. Thank you so much. My name is Tyrone. I'm the pharmacist who filled the medication. I do want to briefly go over this medication. That way he's perfectly comfortable using it and he'll get the most benefit. So this is a Vecchio, also known as amphetamine sulfate. Has Michael taken an amphetamine before? Uh, no, this is his first uh, time taking medication. Oh, it's the first time. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It comes in these blister packs of these medication. What did the doctor say the Evecchio was for? Uh, for his ADHD. Yes. And actually, this is, I do see this a lot. He is definitely not alone in this situation. But the good news is the Evecchio does help with focus and concentration, both mm -hmm. at school and at home. And how did the doctor say Michael should be taking this? I, mean, I know we talked about it, but I was a little overwhelmed, so I can't oh. quite remember. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It, there is a lot to go over. I do want to make this as simple as possible. So the important thing is it comes in these blister packs. When he's ready to use it, make sure his hands are clean but dry before peeling it out. He can also push it, but they're kind of fragile. I recommend peeling if possible. Okay. So have them dissolve one tablet on the tongue per dose. The instructions are a bit complicated, but it's important to know on, on the label, it says to take just one tablet when he wakes up once daily for the first seven days. And then after that, he's going to be taking one tablet twice daily, but it's only one tablet per dose. And if he, yeah, if he does forget to take a dose, have him take it as soon as he remembers. But if it's getting kind of close to that next dose, tell him to skip that dose and he should just move on to the next dose as normal. But okay. it's important, yeah, it's important to take it at the same time each day if possible. And mm -hmm. what did the doctor tell you to expect from this medication, if anything? Um, he just told us that it would help him stay a little more on task at school. On task at school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it does work maybe in about half an hour. But to actually know if it's working, I highly recommend following up with the teachers, checking out his report card. Because even though medications do help, it's important to see all the reasons that might be affecting his focus. Definitely follow up with his teachers. It does last four to six hours. Uh, but I do recommend taking it earlier in the day, if possible. Uh, okay. What side effects, actually, did the doctor go over with you, if any? No, I don't remember anything about that. Okay. So a fraction of people might experience maybe some upset stomach alertness, like someone just drank a huge cup of coffee, and maybe a little bit of jitteriness. So it's important to take it earlier in the day. I recommend after a meal. And occasionally, it does make someone less hungry. So that's why taking it after a meal can actually make that not a problem. Mm -hmm. I do want to make sure he's still eating enough, not losing weight. So de that's definitely something to keep track of. It is very rare, but watch out for any signs of maybe very different mood or agitation. Again, it's very rare. I don't really see that, but it is something to look out for. That is a red flag. And there is only there is no refills on this one. So after he is done, I would definitely follow up with the doctor and let the doctor know if it's working and how well it's working. And if it is working well, great. Then he'll probably give you another refill. And make sure he stores this in a nice dry place One away minute. from the heat mm -hmm. and any cold temperatures. Okay. I know that's a lot of information, but just to make sure I haven't forgotten anything, what are some key points we don't went over today? Uh, the he needs to take the medicine in the morning, mm -hmm. um, to take it with food to avoid not being hungry, uh, yep. And then if he misses a dose, take uh -huh. it as soon as he remembers, unless it's close to the next dose, yes. in which case skip the dose and just take the next one as scheduled. Perfect. You might be able to teach me a thing or two. <laughs> just in case I forget anything, what questions do you have for me, if any? Oh, man, I can't think of any. Okay. If you do have any questions, our number is always on top of the label. Go get free to give me a call at any time to follow up. Okay. And I'll give this medication to you. Great. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.
thank you. bye-bye now.